to another episode of The Broken Sylvia. And in this episode, we'll start off by showing you how the rear subframe got reinforced by using the GK Tech welded rear subframe plates. They're a perfect bit of kit, they come pre-bent, pre-cut, and they're also nice and thick. In all honesty, it is not worth your time or your effort trying to make it yourself out of sheet metal. Buy the kit for the sake of a hundred bucks or whatever I paid, and weld it in, you're good to go. Reasons for doing this, even though we don't get salt and snow on the roads in Australia, the moment I saw that rear subframe in the Speed Academy S14 crack down the middle, I was like, let's just try to do everything in our power for that not to happen. So the plates were the way to go. Instead of me yapping on, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the video. Any questions, just post them in the comments below. So as you guys just saw, the rear subframe got stripped of all its factory suspension components. Some things will be going on, some things will be getting replaced. What will be going back on are the factory lower control arms and the knuckles. The other three arms, which are the toe, the camber and the caster, will be getting replaced by fully adjustable Driftworks parts. Um, don't know enough about it, so I won't go into too much detail. But what that allows you to do is to take full advantage of adjusting your wheel alignment. So whether you're gonna build a track car, a drift car, or just a purely a nice little street car, they're brand new, they're adjustable. Also, all the bushings underneath, again, by the same company, Driftworks. My friend Danny, who's had two S15 Sylvias, well, he's still got one. Um, yeah, he runs that exact same uh, suspension setup. I've driven that car and compared to any other Sylvia or Skyline I've driven, that car feels super planted and quite safe being such a 
light little shoebox, I guess. So yeah, that's what I've gone with. The only downside is they come in the color orange, but that's not that big of an issue as we'll be just sending it off with the rest of the parts to get powder coated satin black.
So that will be the end of another episode. Now, before you guys go, I really, really want some feedback, whether it's positive or negative, constructive criticism is accepted. What I wanna know is, are the videos too long? Are they not long enough? What's the music like? Love it, hate it? Comment below or either message me through the Broken Sylvia Instagram page. It's pretty much a one-man team working on the car and also filming and editing the videos. Of course, friends come along the way and give a helping hand, but there's a lot of work to try and make these things really good and up to scratch. There's a lot of work involved. Now, the next episode is pretty much all filmed. The moment that engine goes back in with the gearbox, that next episode will go live. So probably the next two weeks. Spoiler alert. But yeah, if you guys like the videos, subscribe because we're only getting started.